I'm so excited about this look. It's ridiculous. All right, let us do the things. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapano from Kapano the Blog and thank you so much for choosing me. So today is possibly one of my favorite how I do things episodes because it's all about the Lepondo, darling. But first, I think I need to clear up what a Lepondo is. So a Lepondo is the Tswana word for a ponytail and that's exactly what I've achieved here today. I went into this look not really knowing what I was going to do and how I was going to achieve it. So this tutorial might be a little different from my other tutorials, but you'll still learn how to achieve a cornrow high ponytail. So without further ado, gorgeouses, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So, like I said, my hair is not long enough, so I'm going to be working with this molly hair so what I've done is I've taken three little bundles or pieces or whatever and those are gonna go on each line so first of all I'm gonna just demarcate the line that I want from this corner yes from this corner so put your finger in the middle and just make a straight line I'm pretty happy with this line. Just need to check with the small mirror. Perfection. So the small little hair, I'm going to be clipping it away with my trusty, dusty little duck beak clips. Cool. So now it's time to detangle. So I'm first going to take my fingers and just stretch my hair. And I'm just going to basically use my fingers to detangle my hair. So once I'm done detangling with my fingers, I'm just going to run a super wide tooth comb through my hair. Okay, so clearly I'm going to be feeding in some hair into my head, some extension hair piece into my head. But how I'm going to be doing it is I'm going to start the line with just my fingers, with just my hair. And then towards the end, I'm going to be feeding in the molly braid one at a time i'm going to be feeding it in from this point here so that it's nice and long because i really do want long braids at the end so i'm going to be using the method that i used in my um braid tutorial if you haven't seen that make sure that you click over here yeah over here okay let's do this let me start with the small hairs i'm gonna keep it tight but you don't want to murder your hair. So I like how nice and tight it is. It's coming along really nicely. So once you start seeing that you're starting to get towards the end of the line, you're just going to start adding in your Molly braid. Okay, I'm pretty comfortable with where I am right now. Cool, so I'm going to take one hair Here it is, grabbing it towards the end. And I'm gonna put the short end by my thumb. And I'm gonna put the long end on the other side. Grab some hair. Swap over. Cool, and then I'm gonna do it again. Taking the small end, putting it by my thumb. And then the other hair on the other side. Swap over for the last time. Make sure we keep it nice and neat, honey. And then take my third and final piece. Same thing, by the end. The end by the thumb. The rest of the hair on the other side. 
swap over and you're just going to complete the line. Make sure it's nice and neat. So I'm going to be extra cautious to make sure that everything is like extra neat and extra tight where we've just been doing the feeding in at the moment. Cool, and then when you get to the bottom, when you get to the end, just start the braid. Making sure like your hair blends in with the Mali hair. Let's see if I left any hair behind. And I didn't. So at the bottom I'm going to keep it nice and tight. Just because... Oh, it's nice and thick there. So as you loosen up your grip, just make sure that the small bits of your hair just stay nicely tucked away in that molly hair. Perfect. So I'm just going to loosen up my grip just a little bit just so that this braid can come out nice, bouncy and natural looking. Molly hair does not quite a bit. So if you have any like, you can see that, try and pull it off because that's what really, try pull it off or cut it off. I'd suggest cutting it off just so that you have a pleasant experience going down. So as you can see, I'm loosening up my grip and I'm just braiding that all the way down. I think I'm gonna like this hairdo. Oh my word, I think I'm gonna love this looks so good so far okay gorgeous so, so that is line one done and dusted and i am pretty happy i'm gonna move on to the next line what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this little cute extra thin line between every line okay so because this line is thin i'm not going to be feeding in any hair piece so i'm just going to pin this one away and then just get into it. So it's cute, it's nice and thin. Again, I'm just gonna make sure it's like nicely detangled with my fingers. I'm gonna take my extra thick comb. I'm just going through it once. And then I think with this one, I'm just going to do like a cute flat twist. pretty cute so I think since this one's thinner I am going to probably feed this thinner line into the thicker line once it gets to the back so at the back I'm just going to do like a normal three strand braid Okay, so I decided that I'm going to start from scratch with you guys because I'm not exactly sure what method I'm going to use just yet. So I think I'm going to be making it up as I go along, but I'm going to get to the hairstyle that I want to get to. I got inspiration from Fresh Lengths on Instagram. Here is the look. There we go. How gorgeous is that? Obviously, we have really, really different hair. But I really do think that I can achieve this look. I am going to be using some Marley braid. Here it is. It's just normal Marley braid, which looks like my natural hair to make my hair look a little longer. So I'm going to be making it up as I go along. That's why I'm starting from this point. And then I'll show you the steps that I take to get the look that I really, really want. So let's do this. 
Okay, so my hair is freshly washed, detangled, and it's deep conditioned. I have been using the My Natural Hair products that I received about two weeks ago, and I absolutely, absolutely love the products. If you guys want to see a full review on the products, you can head over to my blog, kabanatheblog.co.za, to see what I think about the product. But for now, I'm going to be using the lock method to just moisturize and straighten my hair or stretch my hair before getting into the hairstyle that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna be starting with just my normal water which I use all the time and I'm just going to be spraying that all over my hair just to get it just to relax a bit because you do not wanna work on dry hair. Cool. As you can see, I am quite generous with the I am quite generous with the water because I really do want my hair not to be dry when I work on it. So the one thing I noticed about the hairdo is that it kind of works in quarters. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to roughly just part my hair into fours and then I'm going to moisturize my hair in quarters instead of like my whole head all at once. So I have my first quarter and I'm going to be using my trusty dusty ribbons which I made from stockings just to divide that one part of my hair. I'm going to do it nice and loose, I'm not trying to make it tight. Move on to the next quarter and do the same. Cool, so those are my four quarters. So I'm going to be working one quarter at a time, especially with braiding it. So I think I'm going to moisturize the section and then braid it immediately. So I think that's like the best solution for me, especially if I want the product to like soak in. So I'm going to start with this quarter first. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the LOC method, which is the lock method. Even though I've already used water, I'm still going to use um, leave-in conditioner, oil, and then a cream. So for the leave-in conditioner, I'm going to be using the My Natural leave-in conditioner which has coconut jojoba and olive oil which i absolutely love jojoba i haven't actually been using it they have a pump which for me i'm like yes i love the way all the products make my hair feel they're so nice and creamy i think for me that is like my favorite part then for the oil i'm going to be using the my natural hair strengthening oil love this one so this oil has a blend of sunflower castor um, grapeseed avocado sweet almond and olive oils which i really really like the combination of that next from the butter side well not the butter but the cream side of things i'm going to be using the moisturizing butter now this has let's see shea butter coconut olive jojoba and sunflower this is the one product that has shea butter I haven't really been using shea butter on my natural hair and I'm a 4C type of girl so I really want to see how the how the shea butter works. It's not hard, it is soft but you can definitely tell that you have to activate it first before you put it on your hair. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've taken about, I don't even know how much this is guys, it's quite little. And then I'm going to rub it in my hands, get it nice and warm to activate it and then starting on the tips of my hair as usual, the front to the back, open a few lines and then work it into my hair once again. Cool, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to basically cut out the line that I want. I'm going to be using a rat tail comb for that and I'm just basically going to I'm gonna undo the hair on the side and just neaten up the line in the middle. What I want to do though is that I want to put like thin lines in between so just be gentle with that thin lines in between the thick lines so I'm not going to necessarily put this line in the middle I'm going to make it slightly off center so that I can do that one thin line in the middle of my head nice thing about a red tail comb is like you can just like stick the 
the tail end in, draw the line that you want and achieve it straight up. The one thing I can say is that my hair feels really good. So once I'm done with the middle line, I'm then going to take the hair in the quarter that I'm not working with and I'm just going to put that away. So now we're going to move on to the third line. I'm just going to do the same things. It's still so nice and moisturized. Oh, it feels so good. This definitely, my natural hair products definitely have like a an old school scent to them. I think it's because of the shea butter. Um, there's just something about it that just smells wholesome. So this is going to be the one line. And I have a feeling I should do like the other thin line here instead of doing it in the back. So I'm just going to create that line already. I have a feeling I won't regret doing that. Perfect. I'm happy with that. So this little, little line here, I'm just going to pin that back. So, I'm going to take like a semi-straight line. I'm going to start from there. Yeah, that's good. I am becoming very happy with what I'm seeing so far. Quite chapped. Okay, so I'm getting to the end of the line. I need to start feeding in that hair. So, here are my three pieces once again. So, with my first piece, there it is. Take it from the end, put in the shorter end by my thumb and the longer end on the other side. And then, braiding just once. And then we're gonna take the second one. There we go. Shorter end, better thumb. Other end, the longer end on the other side. Then braid once more. Third and final piece, shorter end, by the thumb, longer end, on the other side. Funny enough, I'm right at the end of the line. And then we braid it. Oh, honey. Look at that. Yes. Okay. 
I was scared that I was going to be disappointed in this look at the end of it all, but what? No disappointment here. Check out the bag. Okay. Definitely need to work with more mirrors, but I'm so happy with how it looks like for a first attempt. Oh yes. Okay. I'm not, I'm not completely mad at this. I am not, hmm. I'm not completely mad at this. I think what I'm going to do though, is I'm definitely going to do something about these ends. They look crusty. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you'll be trying it out soon. If you want to see how to corner braid your hair, then the link is at the top of the screen. And I've also done a tutorial on how to flat twist your hair as well. And that link will be at the top of the screen as well. So that's it. And you know that no video is done without the selfies. So let's jump straight into it. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching gorgeous people. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and definitely share this with a friend. I'm Gobano from Gobano the blog and I just did the things.